All right, we'll flip it to Saturday night, 7 p.m. start at Madison Square Garden. The Rangers with their backs against the wall. Once again, uh, they're minus 115 at home. The Hurricanes right now minus 105. We saw game four and game three. They, they basically close in this range. It's essentially a pick them um, when, when the series shifts to the Garden. The over-under is five and a half with the juice on the under right now, minus 145. Under, 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 under in the series five and zero. Oh, uh, the under is uh, so we could see a five pop uh, for game six. I'm, 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 if it goes to seven, we'll definitely see a five. I'm gonna go to the Hurricanes again. Uh, I just this series is incredibly frustrating. We were talking right before we started recording that it, it's so hard to get a read because the narrative that is just flying around about the home road splits with the Hurricanes, it it really is just incredibly annoying to just kind of sift through because. There is, there obviously is something going on with the, with the difference, the way they're playing at home and on the road, but at some point they're just going to need to figure it out, right? You can't go through an entire NHL postseason if you're, if you're going to make the third round without winning on the road and they're a better team than the Rangers. We've, we've talked about it this whole series. If you look at the two teams on paper, you look at the numbers throughout the entire regular season, uh, man, man for man, the Hurricanes are the better team. Uh, the Rangers, of course, they do have the the out clauses of a great power play and then um, an all world goaltender, and they're very clinical. They they do punish mistakes, but Carolina should be the favorite, I think, in in when you're looking at this game. Um, and we won't see them as a, as a you know considerable favorite. This game should close right around where where it's at right now. You know, maybe the numbers flip a little bit, but it's this is a team that is was one of the best five on five teams all season long. They finished only second to the Panthers in terms of creating high danger chances at five on five and uh, expected goals at five on five, getting shot attempts at five on five. Like this is, this should be their bread and butter as long as they can keep the game on five on five. And that shouldn't be that hard. But we even saw tonight with Ian Cole uh, taking a, a dumb, it was soft, but it was still a dumb penalty. Whereas the, I don't understand how you can even be doing that with your hurricanes when you know if this game is at five on five, we're the better team. So hopefully that is just drilled into this team um, from now until they get to uh, puck drop on Saturday night. And I'm just going to, oh, in a game like this, I'm always going to lean towards when it's priced like this, I'm always going to lean towards the better five on five team. So I'll back the hurricanes minus one five here. Uh, I'm just going to do my best to, to drown out the rest of the noise about the, the, you're going to hear a lot about the Rangers in elimination games, and you're going to hear a lot about hurricanes on the roads. And I think that actually could, provide you with a better price than what you normally would get on Carolina. Man, I I I hate this series. Um I I just it's it's hard and and the reason why I hate this series is that it's hard for me to accept that someone telling me that well they just play one way at home and they play another way on the road. I I just can't accept that. I there's no there's no logic to that. Um, because if you're talking about matchups, that's not the case. Um, they they are getting their matchups. If you're talking about um, effort, I mean, I don't buy into um, lack of effort in the playoffs. So there's no the, there's no logic for me here to just accept that the uh, the Kings just play better on the um, um, play better at home. And if you look at the regular season numbers, they had a better home record, but it's yeah. not like they had a bad road record at exactly. all. They were, they were 25, 12 and four on the road. Like this is a 116 point team during the regular season. That means a lot of points on the road. Uh, so it doesn't make sense. You're right. Yeah. And I bet the Rangers in game five, um, I thought that they can make it a coin flip and, and they come out and play their worst game of the series in game five. So, I, I don't know what to do, but I have to ask myself the question that I bet the Canes in game four on the road at a higher number. Now they're going to be reduced here um, and money is going to come in on the Rangers. So, so we will see the Canes discounted. So I have to ask myself that if I was okay to lay a higher number with the Canes in game four, with no new relevant information between game four and game six, why am I not laying a cheaper number with Carolina in game six? And if the only answer is that, well, they don't play as well on the road, I cannot accept that, <laughs> right? So 
I'm on the fence here. Um, I think that there is a there is a price for me to join you on 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 Carolina. I think that it will probably get there. I'll probably play Carolina. I'll probably be just annoyed at the end of game six because I don't understand what just happened. Mm-hmm. Um, but I do. If that if if that total gets to five, um, I I'll probably be on the over. Um, I don't care who's in goal. Um, I if it's a five in today's NHL, I've mentioned this before, five or a cheap five and a half. I I think that betting the over um, that's that's just a no brainer. So um, if it if we get a five, I'll be on the over. If we get a cheaper Carolina, which should get there, I'll I'll be there as well. Yeah, and I think what what the total tells you and what the series has told you is that these games are going to be you know projected to be low event and if if it is that way if it's a 1-1 game a 2-1 game that essentially means it's going to be a coin flip and what have we been saying all along that you're going to take the underdog in, in those situations um so yeah it'll be carolina for me here uh you're looking towards uh, the canes in the over 